This video is about detecting low-level bedbug infestations in multifamily housing. Bedbugs are small, flat insects that prefer to feed on humans and are now considered the most difficult pest to control in homes. While management can be demanding in a single-family home, a multi-unit structure brings additional challenges. Bedbugs have reached extraordinary levels in multifamily housing, with the highest rates of infestation noted in low-income high-rises for the elderly and disabled, where up to 45% of the apartments may be infested. Extensive personnel time and funds have been expended by multifamily housing managers in an attempt to provide bedbug-free housing, but progress is lacking. Our experience leads us to emphasize early detection of low-level bedbug infestations as the first step in managing this pest. The advantages of early detection are numerous. If infestations are caught early and thus population small, bedbugs will be more easily, effectively, and quickly managed, less room preparation will be needed, furniture can be treated rather than removed, spread to other apartments will be reduced, and non-chemical control alone may be all that is needed to provide sufficient control. Low-level infestations of bedbugs can be difficult to detect. Relying on residents to report bed bug presence is not advisable because 70 to 79 percent of infested units could go unreported. Several viable options, such as pitfall monitors, active monitors, canine scent detection teams, and visual inspections by trained personnel, can help with early detection. A combination of options, such as passive pitfall monitors and quick inspections, may provide the best results. Passive pitfall monitors include the Climb Up Insect Interceptor Black Grip, or what we call the Black Climb Up, Climb Up Insect Interceptor, Blackout or Lights Out Bed Bug Detector, and the Sensi Volcano. The pitfall monitor is one of the less expensive, yet most effective tool for detecting low levels of bed bugs. Pitfall monitors are available in different shapes and sizes. Each has a roughened outer surface that allows bed bugs to climb into the device, and a smooth concave inner surface prevents bed bugs from escaping. Furniture or bed legs can be placed in the concave area, but this isn't necessary to catch bed bugs. They can be caught in pitfall monitors placed on the floor against mattresses or box springs lacking a bed frame, or placed on the floor against the wall or other vertical surface. Pitfall traps are referred to as passive when no lure has been added to increase the monitor's attractancy to bed bugs. By placing the pitfall monitors near humans, the attractants, CO2, human body odors, and heat help lure bed bugs to the trap. When detecting low-level infestations where no treatment has occurred, monitors should be placed where the residents spend most of their sitting or resting time, such as under or near legs of chairs, sofas, and beds. One upholstered chair and bed would typically require eight monitors. The double circles in these images indicate monitor placements. An additional advantage to placing monitors under the legs of beds and upholstered furniture is that the monitors can keep bed bugs in the room from reaching a host on the furniture. Two upholstered chairs and a bed would require 12 monitors. When using eight or more monitors, inspection intervals of two weeks have been shown to detect 89 to 94 percent of infestations. A study conducted by University of Tennessee Urban IPM lab personnel found no significant difference in the effectiveness of the black climb up or the blackout in detecting low-level infestations when one, two, or four monitors were placed in one bedroom and studio apartments. However, an inspection interval of four or more weeks was needed to detect 79 to 90 percent of infested units. Placing more than four monitors per apartment could increase the chances of and decrease the time needed for detection. When using four or fewer monitors per apartment, a one-month to three-month inspection period is advisable. Next, I present a case study where two blackout monitors were placed per apartment in four low-income high-rises for the elderly and disabled. Monitors were placed against the leg or mattress of the bed, and the other placed against a piece of furniture, where it appeared the resident spent most of their sitting time, typically the chair across from the TV. An average of 33% of the rooms were infested with bed bugs in these four buildings. First, we held meetings on 36 floors in all four buildings for 733 residents between March and August of 2014. Each resident was shown a display box of all bed bug stages and fecal spotting. Handouts on bed bugs and cockroaches were discussed, a vacuum demonstration provided, and two blackouts and three cockroach sticky traps were distributed to each resident. Here's one handout we used to discuss ways to prevent future bed bug infestations. 
We discussed the residents' role in preventing bed bugs, which included more detailed instructions to place the blackouts against a bed and the chair they spent most of their time. Residents were to check monitors weekly, and if the monitors were dusty, to wipe them with a tissue. Any bed bugs found were to be reported immediately to the office. The pest management technician was to inspect the monitors quarterly during the regular service. On the back side of the handout, we provided instructions on preventing roaches and how to place sticky traps. If residents could not place the monitors or traps, we assisted them. Regardless if UT personnel or residents placed the monitors, nearly 80% of apartments still had one monitor in place after seven to nine months. Seven to nine months after placement, we inspected just the monitors in 256 of 277 apartments in Building D. Live bed bugs were found in 27 apartments. Dead bed bugs were found in 25 apartments, which had never been treated, and in 22 apartments that had been treated in the past. Dead bed bugs can fall from furniture into the monitors and don't necessarily indicate a live infestation. Nevertheless, we suggested all apartments with dead bed bugs be visually inspected to ensure they were free of live bed bugs. Active monitors are similar to pitfalls but have an attractant that mimics human exhalation, CO2, body odor, or heat. Carbon dioxide will lower bed bugs from longer distances than human body odors or heat. Those monitors producing CO2 are very effective in trapping bed bugs, but were often more costly. Active monitors have been introduced to the commercial market, but few remain today. One active monitor currently available is the Sensi Active, which consists of a lore mimicking human skin odors added to the Sensi volcano. In the images shown here, dry ice is added to an insulated cup, the lid tab peeled back, and cup placed into a monitor against the wall to help detect bed bugs in a vacant apartment. Carbon dioxide dissipating from the cup draws bed bugs to the monitor in just 30 minutes, but it is recommended to wait 24 hours before checking the CO2 baited traps. Heed the precautions about handling dry ice, as explained in the Rutgers fact sheet, FS1117. Well-trained canine scent detection teams can be valuable in inspecting large areas such as offices, movie theaters, schools, department stores, and apartment complexes for live bed bug nymphs and adults as well as viable eggs. With their acute olfactory scents, canines are able to detect bed bugs more quickly than humans visually searching. It is important for dogs to be able to distinguish all living bed bug stages, eggs, nymphs, and adults, from signs of an inactive infestation such as dead bed bugs, caskins, and bed bug feces. The team's accuracy depends on the ability of the dog to detect the scent of the target and of the handler to detect and manage the inspection and interpret the dog's response. Although success rates for bed bug detecting dogs in a controlled setting are high, in the field the success rate may be lower. Dogs are capable of indicating false positives. That is, indicating the presence of bed bugs when they are not present. Before treating for bed bugs, the physical presence of living bed bugs should be verified. Monitors can be placed for 14 days to aid in detection if a visual search fails to produce physical evidence. Low income high rise housing for the elderly and disabled presents quite a few challenges to canine scent detection teams, and they may be more effective in other settings. Visual inspection is the technique used most frequently by the pest management industry, but it can be very time consuming and has been documented to be less accurate than pitfall monitors when bed bugs are present at low levels. To visually inspect an apartment in its entirety could require hours of effort. Inspections typically start with the bedding, comforter, bedspread, sheets, and other bed coverings. Next, the entire mattress cover is inspected, as are the seams, edges, rips, tags, and other tight spaces. The top surface and the sides of the entire box spring are inspected. Next, the box spring is turned over and careful attention is paid to the overlapping material around the stapled areas of the dust cover. The dust cover is removed and the interior, especially the rough wood surfaces, is inspected. The bed frame, including headboards and footboards, is disassembled as needed to inspect cracks and crevices. The inspection then moves to the areas surrounding the bed that provide harborage for bed bugs, such as nightstands, dressers, tables, chairs, and carpet, as well as the tack strip under the carpet and behind baseboards. Concentrate on upholstered furniture, where residents spend considerable time in nearby cracks and crevices, and then on less used upholstered furniture. 
Not only are exposed surfaces inspected, but pillows are removed and the furniture flipped to inspect the undersides. Dust covers may be removed to allow inspection of the furniture's interior. Bed bugs may also be found in coat closets, bathrooms, kitchens, picture frames, wall outlets, switches, popcorn ceilings, and smoke detectors. The combination of a quick three-minute visual inspection of all apartments in the building with the placement of monitors as needed may be the most efficient method for detecting low-level bed bug infestations. Conducting a building-wide inspection is important to find all the infestations at the same time, thus preventing bed bug spread. For the quick visual inspection, only the bedding and outer surfaces of the mattress, especially seams, tufts, and tags, and box spring are inspected. No flipping of beds is required. In the quick inspection, only the upper surfaces of the upholstered furniture and all sides of the furniture pillows are inspected. No flipping of the furniture is required. Monitors are used only in this quick inspection scenario if bed bugs are not detected but are suspected. Their evidence or evidence of their treatment is present, a resident complains of recent bites or sightings, or the apartment was treated in the recent past. Monitors are placed under or against legs of beds or upholstered furniture and inspected after two weeks. Four or fewer monitors could be used with the quick inspection, but detection may require four weeks or more. Here's another case study in which we used two other buildings where two blackouts were placed per apartment. In building A and B, we decided to combine a quick inspection with the inspection of the two blackouts placed 22 months ago. We were searching for a building-wide bed bug detection system in which the building manager and assistant could conduct themselves. And this one's quite plausible. The system required two people, plus a housing worker to open doors, three minutes per apartment or 12.5 hours inside apartments to complete the task. Here's what appears to be 22 months of dust accumulation, but the monitor is still catching bed bugs. 83% of apartments still had at least one monitor remaining one year and 10 months after placement. It appeared monitors in only 10% of the apartments had been cleaned in that time. 22 months after the two monitors were placed, we inspected monitors, bed and upholstered furniture in 245 of 249 apartments in building A and B. Live bed bugs were found in 19 apartments, dead bed bugs were found in 6 apartments which had never been treated and in 17 apartments that had been treated in the past. Management was only aware of 21% of the infestations. 79% had gone undetected because they had not been reported by residents. Should we take the number of self-reported bed bug infestations and multiply by 4.75 to get a more accurate infestation level in low-income high-rise housing for the elderly and disabled? Passive pitfall monitors have other functions besides first detecting bed bugs. If they are placed under or against legs of beds and upholstered furniture, and also against walls near entryways, in corners, closets, and even in kitchens and bathrooms. They are more helpful in detecting bed bugs after insecticide treatments as more bed bug activity is found away from sleeping areas. This arrangement will determine areas of continued activity and will help direct treatments. If monitors are bed bug free after three to four consecutive two week inspections, the bed bug infestation would be considered eliminated. Regardless of the monitor system chosen, monitors must be inspected to be helpful. Advice to housing managers and pest management professionals. Building-wide inspections are needed. Decide which interval will work best for your buildings, one, two, or four times a year. Decide if housing personnel or the PMP will conduct the inspection. And decide which inspection technique to use. A quick inspection plus monitors under against each leg of bed and upholstered furniture in apartments in which bed bugs are suspected or place a set number of monitors in all apartments and combine with quick inspections at set interval. Slides 31 through 34 list sources for this presentation. This material is based upon work that is supported by the National Institute of Food and Agriculture, U.S. Department of Agriculture, under award numbers 2013-34103-21213, and 2013-41530-21214. Performers, Rachel Harmon and Jennifer Chandler. Cinematographer, Carrie Likens. Narrator, Virginia Parkman.